Good afternoon, friends. I wanted to sit down and spend some time uh, with you uh, talking about these pieces by Harrison B. Gay. Harrison's a friend of mine and has been for a long time. In fact, funny story about uh, Harrison and I, we, we became friends uh, long before I ever became involved in uh, Native American art business or before I really started dealing with pottery. Um, we were at a, um, a function uh, where uh, I was attending and, and Harrison was there as well. And uh, he had actually accidentally locked his keys in his car. And uh, this has got to be over 20 years ago. And, and uh, I saw that they were having some trouble uh, getting their, their door unlocked and, and offered to uh, lend my skills. And I guess uh, at that time, I, I thought I was some sort of amateur uh, <laughs> locksmith because we managed to to uh, Jimmy the lock and and get the door open and and uh, got his keys out of his car. So uh, that thus began a, a long standing friendship and and I've enjoyed uh, watching Harrison's career develop over the years and and uh, I've enjoyed our, our friendship and of course as I've gotten into uh, dealing pottery, it's been a, a great honor and privilege to represent his pieces and get to know him better and learn more about what inspires him as an artist. Of course, uh, as you know, Harrison B. Gay uh, is uh, of Nav Navajo heritage, uh, but produces a, a, a style of Pueblo pottery uh, that is attributed to the Santa Clara Pueblo. And you'll notice that these are deep relief carved pieces in both uh, a dark black as well as kind of a trademark chocolate brown that Harrison is known for and, and which are fairly highly sought after. So to give you a little bit of, of um, background, Harrison uh, was born in, and raised in Arizona and moved to New Mexico and lived there at the Santa Clara Pueblo for many years where he was married and he actually began his uh, career as an artist uh, as a as a well with drawing and, and painting basically as a two-dimensional artist and it wasn't until he picked up a piece of clay and began to experiment and play around a little that um, his his father-in-law actually was the one who noticed his um, his talent with the clay and encouraged him to you know keep at it because he'd seen uh, the the, the drawings that Harrison had produced and uh, was impressed by his his skill, his talent as, as an artist and thought that those designs would translate well um, into pottery and, and they certainly have. And so we'll talk about that a little bit as we look at these pieces. Here on the right, uh, you'll notice that this piece uh, has a number of different designs, um, geometrics, abstracts, and then of course incorporated with stylized yay bache design. And something else I'll point out quickly as we just examine the, the surface of this piece is you've got a very highly polished surface on the right contrasted against a, a, a matte finish, a non-polished surface on the left, which really um, highlights the contrast between um, these two elements of design. And as kind of we go around the piece, you'll see other um, stylized uh, patterns, uh, water waves, cloud designs, and, and those sort of things that, that figure prominently throughout Native American, you know, um, iconography, if you will. So um, as we, we roll around the back here, then we see the hummingbird and uh, who's coming to the blossom and feeding on the nectar there and, and kind of come full circle and you get more feather and water uh, patterns and designs. But it's a real elegant, harmonious balance of, of form and shape and substance and design. Um, one of my favorite aspects of this particular piece is uh, the neck. Uh, I like especially how he's got the contrasted polished limb and then the matte neck. But just the fluted neck aspect itself is something that um, really attracted me to this piece. So uh, that piece right there, along with these others, are all available on our website right now. And we'll just move over here quickly and show you the, the full 360 degree view of these other pieces. Uh, this This one is obviously a dragonfly on the one side, high polish and a couple of other stylized dragonfly designs around. You can see the base here, more water designs. And then you've got this bison or, you know, American, I guess, buffalo 
uh, both a, a high contrast polish and matte. So this one's got a, a polished neck and both of these pots that are in black are pretty close to the same size, uh, just different in design and slightly different um, characteristics in terms of the shape there. So as we move to the back, you'll notice that this uh, chocolate brown piece uh, features a sea turtle on uh, this one side, again with the high polish contrasted against the matte. And then as we roll around, we get more cloud designs, water waves, and then the reverse design is actually a raven. And the raven's perched there with the berries in his beak, and you've got some step designs with more water and waves. So a lot of traditional elements that are, you know, playing into um, these designs, and all of which harken back to uh, Harrison's Navajo culture and heritage, but also, you know, tying in with the, you know, the, the general theme, uh, Native American in, themes in general, is I guess what I'm trying to say. So two very nice examples in, in the high polish black and one really beautiful piece in, in the chocolate brown. Um, all great examples, all available online. Uh, super fortunate to have these in the gallery right now and just been a, a big fan of Harrison's work for a long time. And I hope you'll have a chance to visit our website and take a look at these and by all means, Send us your, your questions and or call with your inquiries and happy to assist you in whatever way we can. Uh, of course, these pieces are looking for good homes and uh, those of you who are familiar with Harrison's work undoubtedly uh, know, the, know and appreciate the value of these pieces. And those who aren't, this is a good opportunity to get to know Harrison uh, a little better. So we'll close here and just uh, thank you for taking time to watch our little video. And if you liked this, please feel free to give it a, a like and maybe a share and uh, leave your comments in the comment section below. Thanks so much.